Welcome back to our channel. Today, we talk about the reasons why Tesla established a gigafactory in China. Tesla's choice to establish a gigafactory in China wasn't just about lower production costs, as most people think. It was a bold, strategic move, a calculated gamble on the world's fastest-growing market. In 2018, Tesla CEO Elon Musk signed an agreement with the Shanghai regional government to set up the first gigafactory in China. But what exactly were the driving forces behind this decision? I hope you're ready because we're about to delve into the fascinating reasons why Tesla set its sights on China, a land brimming with opportunity and teeming with potential challenges. The first reason is access to the booming Chinese market. China's auto market isn't just big, it's colossal. Imagine a car buying frenzy where millions of vehicles are sold every month. That's the reality Tesla is tapping into with its gigafactory presence. So far, the electric vehicle maker posted record revenue and profit in the third quarter of 2023 as production and demand in China held up well. The car maker managed to boost production in the third quarter, delivering 241,300 vehicles globally, a rise of 73% on year. For all of quarter three, China remained our main export hub. Production has ramped well in China, and we are driving improvements to increase the production rate further, Tesla said at its quarterly earnings release. Elon Musk also said at Tesla's annual shareholders meeting that its Shanghai Gigafactory now produces more cars than its factory in Fremont, California. The increase in production rate has primarily been driven by further ramping of the Model Y at our Shanghai factory, Chief Financial Office Zach Kirkhorn said. Chinese consumers also appear to be taking to Tesla's product line. But that's not all. Here's a deep dive into the mind-blowing potential China holds for Tesla. China boasts over 280 million registered vehicles, more than the U.S. and Europe combined. Every year, China sells over 25 million new cars, a market size that dwarfs any other nation. This translates into an enormous potential customer base for Tesla. Tesla sold 464,654 vehicles in China in the first 10 months of the year, up 37.5% over last year and accounting for 12% of China's electric vehicle sales, according to the China Passenger Car Association, the research arm of the China Automobile Dealers Association. All these stats show just how much of a giant the market in China is. China isn't just big, it's electric vehicle crazy. The Chinese government heavily subsidizes and incentivizes EV purchases as a smart way of pushing for a rapid transition away from gasoline-powered cars. This creates a perfect storm for Tesla. As Tesla tries to put itself at the center of this storm, they end up as a company at the forefront of the EV revolution. The second reason, of course, is lower production costs. Now, building a gigafactory in China grants Tesla access to a game-changing benefit a vast network of local suppliers for parts and materials. This proximity to parts translates into significant cost reductions in two key areas, shipping and import tariffs. Let's delve deeper into these cost-saving advantages. Picture a car seat. Shipping it from a U.S. factory to China adds substantial costs. These costs include fuel for cargo ships, potential port fees, and transportation within China. By sourcing parts from Chinese suppliers, Tesla eliminates these long-distance shipping expenses. Instead, parts travel shorter distances, significantly reducing the overall cost of getting materials to the Gigafactory. Not to mention, when Tesla ships a finished car from the U.S. to China, it gets hit with import tariffs. By manufacturing cars directly in China, Tesla bypasses these import tariffs altogether. This translates to a substantial cost saving on each car produced. Imagine this scenario. A car with a $40,000 base price might incur a 20% import tariff in China, adding $8,000 to the final cost for consumers. Building the car in China eliminates this extra $8,000 expense. While avoiding import tariffs makes Tesla cars more affordable, it's not just about price. Here's where it gets interesting. The Chinese government actively supports domestic EV companies, including Tesla. This can involve research and development funding, tax breaks, and infrastructure development like charging station networks. This indirect support boosts Tesla's overall position in the Chinese market. Not to mention, having a local factory allows Tesla to be more responsive to Chinese consumer preferences. They can adapt car features, infotainment systems, and even design elements to better suit the local market. 
This focus on localization can be a significant advantage over foreign competitors. The third and final reason is due to China's need to eliminate pollution completely. China's choking smog is a problem they're determined to tackle, and electric vehicles are their weapon of choice. Tesla's Gigafactory, nestled within China's borders, plays a critical role in this fight for clean air. Here's how. The Gigafactory churns out Teslas at a lower cost thanks to local suppliers and avoiding import fees. This translates to cheaper EVs for Chinese consumers, making them a more attractive alternative to gasoline guzzlers. As more people switch to electric, the number of gas-powered vehicles spewing out pollutants shrinks. Unlike gasoline engines constantly coughing out pollutants, EVs boast a superpower. They don't have tailpipes. This means no nitrogen oxides, no particulate matter, no nasty stuff contributing to smog and respiratory illnesses plaguing Chinese cities. Every Tesla rolling off the Gigafactory assembly line is essentially a new soldier in the war against air pollution. The Gigafactory isn't a small operation. It's a mass production machine capable of churning out a massive number of EVs. This rapid increase in electric vehicles on the road has a significant impact. Imagine millions of fewer gasoline cars spewing out fumes. That's the kind of impact the Gigafactory can have. But not only is the Gigafactory useful in this battle against pollution, China understands that charging infrastructure is crucial for widespread EV adoption. They're pouring money into building a nationwide network of charging stations. This eliminates a major barrier for potential EV buyers and encourages the switch to electric vehicles, further reducing emissions. Tesla might even collaborate with the government to expand their supercharger network within China, creating a more robust charging ecosystem. China wants to fight pollution. Tesla wants to expand their business. Tesla sees this as the perfect way to build a partnership by helping China battle pollution. Tesla knew they would achieve this partnership faster with the Gigafactory and therefore expand their electric vehicle customer base. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. While domestic Chinese automakers currently dominate the budget-friendly electric car market, with most of them costing under $45,000, Tesla's arrival isn't without consequences. Here's how Tesla is impacting the landscape. Startups like NIO and Byton, focusing on premium EVs, are facing a new competitor with global experience. Tesla's expertise in electric vehicles, batteries, and technology could threaten their already fragile sales and profitability. The influx of foreign competition like Tesla will likely force domestic Chinese EV companies to innovate. These local Chinese EV manufacturers have been historically protected from direct foreign competition. Chinese automakers haven't faced this sort of pressure to evolve as quickly. Tesla's presence could be a wake-up call, pushing Chinese brands to up their game and benefit the overall market with advancements in electric vehicle technology. So basically, Tesla definitely has a lot of competition to look forward to. What do you think about the establishment of the Gigafactory in China? Let us know in the comments below. Like and subscribe and we will see you in the next video.